Hi lovelies. Um, so today I am super nervous. I have a confession. I have not made a video in months and these are not excuses but I'm just going to tell you why that is and hopefully somebody understands that. Um, I have not really felt myself lately. Um, ever since like losing my tooth, I cannot look in the mirror. Um, it's very hard for me to talk when I do have it in. So it's just kind of a frustrating thing where I want to have it in for looks wise, but when I do have it in, I feel very insecure about talking with it. Um, the latest on that is that it's going to be four to six months before my dentist would like to put the actual tooth on. Um, the other thing is I haven't done a video since my grandmother passed and I think that since I did that video it kind of made me feel like if I did it again I would be really emotional and all those emotions would just come like, rushing back and um, I didn't I don't want that to, I didn't want that to happen because I'm back in North Carolina and I'm in a new environment and I kind of just like go into this world where that didn't exist or happen and um, I am much busier when I'm in North Carolina but I'm still not busy I could be making videos but I don't know I guess after the year of doing my life with chronic pain I kind of didn't know what direction to go or what you guys want me to talk about or I felt kind of lost because my channel is so all over the place because I was just doing my day-to-day -day activities, I guess vlog style, and so I didn't really have a like, this is what I talk about on my channel and this is what I do. So once it, my life with chronic pain stopped, I kind of felt a bit lost and it was nice to have a little bit of a break, but I just didn't feel like I was encouraging people or in a space where I could inspire and encourage people. And I don't know, I, I've been isolating for sure. I mean, a lot of you guys have called me out on that. Um, I don't answer texts or messages. Um, and the reason is I, I feel guilty and I'm isolating and I'm saying to myself and being on the computer more and all these things that don't necessarily make me happy like this channel makes me happy and by this channel I mean the people that view my videos and I really really honestly don't know what to talk about I mean I have so much that goes on in my life and I have chronic pain and I have just a regular life and I have my boyfriend and I have you know this and that and it's just like I don't know what you guys want to hear about because I don't want to sit here talking for three hours and nobody wants to hear any of it like well I don't give a crap I don't connect to this so I really want to do videos that you guys connect to and um, some of them take a little bit of research. I know that my Neurontin versus Gabapentin is one of my most popular videos, and that wasn't that wasn't supposed to be a Gabapentin versus Lyrica thing. Like I I I watched it and I'm like I can't believe people watch this. Like I'm just jibber jabbering like I am now, but I just mention in it my experiences with those two medications. And so I think if I did a video just on that, I could expand a lot more on why I dislike Lyrica so much and why I like Neurontin so much. Not Neurontin and Gabapentin are the same thing. Um, or talk about my symptoms more, or talk about dating with it, or talk about long distance relationships, or makeup, or my wantsable boxes. That's the other, I mean, I have, my, my most popular videos are my Onceable unboxing and my Lyrica versus Neurontin. So it's like, 
Like, what? I don't... I don't know what you want. That's very confusing for me. Because one side, it's like the unboxing beauty world, and one side, it's like the support group, healing, pain group, you know? And I just... I'm very confused and I got a bit insecure I don't know why because I did this for a year and I got insecure like I don't want to be like a mess in front of the camera and you know I am now but like uh, I mean I showered and have my hair in a wet bun but you know I didn't I don't have any makeup on and I have my glasses on and I don't want to do that for some reason. I don't. I don't know if it's part of like isolating or what have you. But I. I know you guys miss me because I miss you guys like crazy. And I was watching an old video because I recently had to tell my boyfriend that I was sick, and because I w wasn't being really honest about that. And so I went back and watched my chronic illness tag video that I did with Lori Fike and I was like watching it like I was watching a YouTuber like it, it was so weird watching myself like I was like oh yeah huh like it's like it's like that person was like a different person that did that thing I mean it's like part of me but like I don't know I just felt like I had like God's help with that whole year and I don't know it just I just got really insecure about wanting to have my makeup done but I don't have the energy to do it and I haven't done my makeup in ages and I still my room is a mess like such a mess from moving back from Florida and I still because I don't have the things that I did in Florida and I don't know just I guess insecurity and feeling a bit lost and y'all are so sweet but you guys always just say I like all of your videos and <laughs> and I'm just like I don't know like what's your favorite video or what do you want from me because I have so many stories to tell and I have so much to offer you guys in form of you know things I've gone through medications I've taken good bad um, doctor referrals um, support groups recovery I, I just have so many things that I can talk to you guys about and I gladly will sit here and ramble for 10 minutes each video and just you know pick a topic and that's what's on my mind and I'll go with that but I really want to do what you guys want and um, because I love it all I just love talking to you guys so um, whatever it may be that's what I will do for you guys and um, I miss you guys like crazy and I'm so glad to be posting this video and I hope that you will take my sincerest apologies for not getting back on messages or Twitter or Facebook or even text messages um, and not being around. I hope to post more regularly um, once I kind of get an idea of what you guys want to hear from me. Um, I just love you guys so much. I hope you're having a pain free stress free day. Um, I love you guys, and as always, mm, bye!